Here they are. It's really hard for me to tell them apart right now because they've got grown so much fur that it's covering their little collars. But they are they are growing like crazy. They are learning to play. They've definitely learned to play in the last couple days. Play with each other, play with some toys so you can see. I've got toys on the floor, all homemade. Little rope toys to help them with teething. And I read it somewhere and it is true. Their favorite toy in the whole world is cut up toilet paper tubes. Evidently they can, they can pick them up in their mouth, they can roll them around. It's their first opportunity to manipulate their own world. And there is Prancer walking through the food bowl. They just finished eating. We are now transitioning them from puppy gruel, which is puppy food blended up with puppy formula into a gruel or mush. And now they're just eating pate styled puppy food. And uh, this morning they had my homemade raw, which I feed all my other dogs, except I cooked it first and then I blended it up with a little bit of puppy uh, formula. And they really liked it, so I'm really happy about that. And now they are just active. I wanted to take a film now because I just cleaned out their pen because you know, when they go on solid food, all of a sudden there's a lot of solid waste. And I woke up to a really disgusting poopy mess. I will say three out of four dogs, or three out of four times the little puppies are pooping in the puppy patch. This is a puppy patch. It looks like grass. I've never had a winter litter before. So I was wondering how the whole fake grass thing would work with my spring litters, summer litters. You know, you get them outside and they associate grass with grass and grass with fake grass and they poo in it. But these guys, boy, as soon as they assume the position, I picked them up, put them in the potty patch, and I have watched some of them actually walk into the potty, pet, potty patch and poo makes me very happy. I love to send puppies home that are at least partly potty trained. They at least get the idea. And I've done pee pads, but pee pads don't work nearly as good as this potty patch. It has a piece of fake grass, and then there's a, a liner that has holes in it, and then there's a tray underneath. I know especially people who live in... Uh, in apartments or people who live in, in 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 crazy northern New York where it's so cold. Um, even my adult dogs use a potty patch in the winter time because they just do not like going outside and doing their business sometimes. Um, I highly recommend it. Get one bigger than the smallest size because most dogs tend to move as they poo. <laughs> Um, but also keep in mind how big a sink you have to clean them out in. Not a nice job to do, but better than cleaning floors all the time. Oh, somebody just wandered into the potty patch. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see a little puppy poo. No, guess not this time. They're just exploring their world. I just cleaned out their pen, and I didn't even put their, their whelping yurt back in. And I'm just trying to decide whether they're ready to transition to a crate by themselves without their mom. Or they still need the yurt in there at night. Oh, we got a puppy over here playing with the toy wall. <laughs> right now, um... Vix, no, not Vixen, uh, who is it? Wolfie and Prancer have top and bottom teeth, and Vixen and Cupid, who were a little smaller when they were born, they have top teeth, no, they have bottom teeth, but the top teeth are still kind of just nubs. Um, actually, I didn't check them this morning, they might be out. They're definitely handling, uh, canned puppy food pate style, not the chunky style, without any problem, but um, 
and they're teething, they just like babies, they need some teething toys. And most of mine are homemade little rope bones made out of either strips of fleece that I also use to make their little blankets, and um, or strips of sheeting left over from when I make their fitted sheets for the yurt. And I find that the soft ones are work perfectly for little guys with little tiny teeth. Anything I find in the store is way too big. So I rearranged everything in here and added a few things. Now they have a they have big blocks to step up on and a little cave to go in and they're all just exploring their new uh, their new habitat.